Have y'all ever had to deal with this in your house? That thing is squeakier than a Motel 6 bed when you're trying to be quiet. We all know we've all been there, you know? But this has drove me absolutely crazy since we moved into this house and I was telling my dad about it. He's here visiting. He's gonna wind up being in the video. Says he don't wanna be in the video, but it's inevitable. He's helping me with this project. So I was telling him about this problem and he said, well, I was watching this old house, you know, like dads do, and they had some squeaky floors and they fixed it with this kit. called Squeak No More. Right there it is, picked it up at Ace Hardware. That was the back of it, there you go. Squeak No More. So we're gonna attempt to fix the floors. We'll see how it goes. I'm either gonna the floors up or fix it. Probably both. Let's see what happens. So I got my stud finder. We gotta find the floor joist and figure out which way they're running. See if the stud finder works. It works. Yep, yeah, nothing. It works. Yeah. We gotta find the floor joist. Which way do you think they run? Huh? Every time that right there's where it's squeaking. That's got to be the joist, huh? Our joist 16, 16 off center too? Mm -hmm. All of them. Hey, so this you? house, the house, this house was built in 1974. <clears throat> Every house ought to be 16 on centers. Even the joist? Mm -hmm. Studs. They ought to be. That don't mean they necessarily are. Look, just put it right there. And then just act normal, Ray. Can I'm you act normal? normal? Well, we found our floor joist, and that's where it's squeaking at, so it's gotta be it. You got a knife on you? Every man's got a knife. My God, every man's got a knife on him. While he's reading the directions, I saw you looking at old Big Deborah. You can get her by going to the link in the description if you want to. If you don't want to, I don't give a shit. Don't do it. Doesn't matter to me either way. Have you figured this out yet? Well, I'm gonna say you got soft wood. Oh no, I don't have soft wood. Mm -hmm. I got that good hard wood. Mm -hmm. Why would you no. say it's softwood? Because that's what most, most building materials are. Could be oak. Around home they were oak. I don't think this one is. You say just hit it right there and see what happens? Yeah, you don't use that special fixture. What special fixture? Is this is an eighth inch drill bit. Why don't you do all this in a closet before you do it out here in the middle of the floor? That what fun is that? Because if we screw it up, we'll just buy a rug. <laughs> he can tell you to do that. What? Do it in a closet, out of the way place, so you'll know how to use it. Nah. That's for yuppies. We don't need to practice. What? Screw it down as far as it goes. Uh -huh, now. I'll be down. Yep. Look if you'll rock this thing sideways. See how that's made? Mm -hmm. Rock it this way. Gotcha.
I'll be damned. Ha! <laughs> it works. I'm not endorsed by this company at all, but I will tell you that right there works as advertised. Ain't that something? It's fixed. What? No. I don't think it would hurt to put one more right here. I don't think it would either. Let's do it while we're here. Might as well get every squeak out of it we can. I'm kind of wondering about this one back here. We still, we need to hit this one. It's gonna be about right in here. That's about right, except right there's about eight inches. Mm -hmm. I know that for a fact. We're not going by your measurements. We need to be precise. Crystal told me that was eight inches. She don't know either. It didn't feel like a stud right there. It didn't. Or George. Well, I mean, either way, we're going to the subfloor. Right. I don't. I, don't, I think you'll be all right. <clears throat> Probably right on the edge of it if if we missed it. Well, you went to this side of it. Right. It's fixed. I think it is. So we did four right there and then one on this joist right here. Fix the floor. So it uses this little thing, right? This right here, this hole, small holes for hardwood, long holes for softwood. Screw it down in there until it stops. Then there's a little, then there's a little ridge right there. You go in, you move it back and forth and it snaps the end of it off. It's a little countersunk screw. Screws all the way down in the wood. Now all I gotta do is put some wood filler in it, stain it, and it's like it never even happened. Hope this ain't a good towel. You're gonna get your ass in trouble. No, what you do is when you ruin a towel, you just take it out to the shop and hide it in the toolbox. And then after a while, they think, oh, it was just a work towel. That's how that works. That's pretty cool. I figured Tom Silva used it. It worked. Oh, Tom Silva. Mm-hmm. you go. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe.